All right, you lucky K20 Pro users out there. Trust me, you guys are lucky. I want to give a big thanks to all the developers of custom ROMs for this particular device because the ROMs are amazing. The quality is beautiful. Things are getting so much better for custom ROMs on the Redmi K20 Pro. Today, we are talking about the latest edition of Ancient OS. This is called 6.1 Shield. I've installed it yesterday. I have the benchmarks and I've been using it since then. And I have a review just for you guys. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people well please join us on telegram we have more than 1700 members over there you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going Alright, so right off the bat, what do we have here? We have Ancient OS 6.1 Shield Android 12 updated recently on the 19th of January 2021. Now you have a support group, you have source changelog, you have screenshots. It has January security patch, device changelog says switch to OSS vendor and Soviet kernel. Now, I've been saying this in each and every video, right? Soviet kernel is a good performer for K20 Pro, period. Now, the ROM is based on OSS vendor and Soviet kernel. Clean flash is a must and that's about it. You don't really have a lot of things. So let's talk about the animations first because trust me, I concentrate more on the UI experience and then a little less on the performance because you won't be playing games 12 hours a day, but you will be using the phone 18 hours a day, right? So the experience that the UI gives to you is really, really important. Now over here, you have a very, very basic and clean user interface with a Google search bar at the bottom, assistant shortcuts over there, a bunch of icons over here. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have a bunch of quick tiles over here. If you go to the edit menu, you will see that you do have a ton of customization. Now ancient OS, trust me, when we talk about customization, this is the ROM to go. It really makes you feel that this is something else. The amount of customization and quality on this particular ROM is really, really nice, right? So you do have a ton of tiles over here. Now, over here, you have the edit menu, you have the power menu, which does give you an option to have access to the advanced reboot menu. You have a setting shortcut over here. Now, as you can see, you do have a Wi-Fi calling icon over here, voice over LTE icon over here. You have battery estimates over here. You have the date and the time. So when you go to the expanded status bar, if things are laid out in such a nice way, you probably get all the information you need from the home screen itself. And that is the reason I give this so much of importance. Now, if you swipe to the left, of course, you have Google feed right now as you can see that's an interesting topic by the way should i make a video on this why you should use your smartphone without a case let me know anyways the google feed is really really smooth it works absolutely fine there are no major stutters and jitters no problem whatsoever but this is a little less smooth compared to say the previous rom that i reviewed so yeah it's there but sometimes it's not really really butter smooth now if you go to the app drawer you will see that you have a bunch of applications but no bloatware the camera application that you see over here is gcam that i have installed and the good news for k20 pro users a video on how to install the best gcam that i've found is coming soon because i am on this android 12 rom with oss vendor and i have in the camera application let me give you a quick preview i have portrait working i have night sight working i have all the lenses in the camera section working absolutely fine the wide angle the telephoto you know all these things are working HDR video works fine with stabilization and you do have slow motion that works fine as well so yeah a dedicated video on the best G cam for K20 Pro is coming soon but that's not the point over here this ROM doesn't come with a G cam or any particular camera application installed now the moment you go to this particular menu that is settings you will see that ancient from the beginning of Android 12 has had a very very different UI they don't really have a dedicated menu over here but you do do have things like customization menu over here you get the option to search things from here okay and then you have some ui customization here so you know these are good things the way they have differentiated themselves from other roms as far as customization is concerned it's really really worth appreciating so over here you have your standard stuff like notifications you can go ahead and enable notification history conversations bubbles these are all standard android 12 things if you go to the battery section you will see you don't really have 
uh, thermal profiles and stuff like that. Even if we talk about the battery usage, you will see I've used the screen for one hour and 22 minutes and we've been on battery for 20, almost 24 hours. We are still at decent amount of battery. Let's see, 67%. So the battery backup is rock solid on this particular ROM. Now, if you go further, you have all your standard options, which you would usually get like MI sound enhancer. If you go to display, you will have, uh, let's see here. So ambient display, that is your always on display, always on, wake up, all the other features are available, present, and they work absolutely fine, right? You do have screen attention, which works fine. The camera would pop up and stuff. So that's good. So nothing exciting over here, but if you go to system, okay, you have live translate, pop-up camera settings, and not much over here again. All right, now let's talk about the important factors over here. That is the ancient customization menu. Now, the first option that you have over here is status bar. Now, another thing that I like over here before we proceed, you see these icons over here for Telegram, Gmail, these are colored. Now, that really makes the UI look different. Even if you go to always on display, you will see that these icons are there. If you talk about the fingerprint scanner, it is there, it works absolutely fine. There's no problem with the fingerprint scanner, right? So let's go to status bar, for example. As you can see, you have status bar items, there you go, that's the amount of options you have. Clock and date settings, you can show seconds, you can show the date over here, you can select the date style as uppercase, you can select the date format, as you can see, everything will come over here. It'll make your you know status bar a little more cluttered. Now moving on, you have carrier label customization, you have traffic indicators, which you can go ahead and enable over here. As you can see, show arrows and stuff. So whenever you have internet activity, they will start working. You can select the battery style. Just see the amount of customization that you have over here. I've never seen these amount of battery options and they all look yeah, really different. Uh, yeah, this looks a little too weird for my taste. Yeah, so you know, you can go ahead and select the one that you like and a battery layout battery percentage next to the icon, custom charging icon, charging symbol for battery text, custom color battery label, ancient logo, combined signal. So, you know, the customization options will just keep going. You have the themes option over here, and then you have quick settings over here in which you can customize a bunch of stuff. So the customization options are really overboard. You know, there are so many of them that you would just spend like half an hour customizing this thing and your phone would look really, really different. And we've not even gotten to the main uh, ancient OS UI customization menu. Now let's go to that menu over here. So you have ancient UI switch, ancient UI clock style, as you can see, select Yapoon. So you can select the ancient UI clock style, clock gravity, clock animation, as you can see, quick setting style, full width notifications, status bar layout style. Let's select this one. Just see, this looks different now. Okay, select this once again. And look at this, it looks really different. I don't know whose taste that would be. I'm not saying it looks bad. You have the option, so you know, might as well appreciate it. You have dual status bar with center clock over here. And as you can see, you can select the status bar uh, clock background as well. You can keep that, keep changing that. And you do have a ton of customization options over here, which is always a good thing, right? Now, that's everything about the settings menu and customization, but what about the important bits? Say, for example, you go to safety net, you run the test. Safety net is passing by default. DRM info says wide one L1 is present. So on this beautiful AMOLED display, you will be able to see your HD content. So that is a good thing. Now, moving on, if we talk about benchmark numbers, for that, we will first go to Google Photos over here. As you can see, you have free unlimited storage, which is a good thing, right? Now, if you go to library, let's go to screenshots over here. As you can see, the CPU throttled to 89% of its max performance and the average score was 173, 445 GIPS, right? So that's a decent score. Now let's talk about end to benchmark. Now this is interesting over here. 573,625. Now this is Poco X3 Pro level of Antutu score. So that's a good thing. That means this ROM is doing things absolutely right. Even if you go to the Geekbench menu over here, 
you will see that you have 759 single core and 2760 multi core. So all in all, this ROM is not only performing great, it is giving good charging speeds, good battery life, good fingerprint experience, amazing amount of customization. And yes, the latest Gcam is working absolutely fine on this as well. So yes, Ancient OS is certified from phone ops. The latest build is doing a splendid job. You can go ahead and flash it and try it. Let me know in the comment section how was your experience. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.